Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to go over some helpful spreadsheets that are currently out there. I know I've made one in the past, but there's some more current ones out there that I wanted to show you guys. And if I don't go over it in this video, then please let me know and then I'll add it in the description. So all of these links will be in the description, so feel free to check them out. So let's go over the first spreadsheet that we got over here, and it is going to be this Delve Index, so shout out to Squeeze for making this. And there are some others that helped with this, but pretty much this is easy to use. You just take a look at the depth on the left side, then you got the biome, the boss, the objective and then it even tells you which enemies are on that depth so if you're trying to farm for a specific memento then you can take a look at this over here and maybe even the biome depending on which one you need just remember that four biomes you have to do it on the third depth so make sure it is on a vault for a chance to get that specific biome memento and it's pretty cool this thing goes pretty far so as you can see all the way up to 192 and we already have a ton of details just from looking at this but you can get even more just by clicking on the background so this is for the undersex 173 shows you the enemies the boss buffs and the buffs in general so there's physical immunity so if you did want to check out which enemies had physical immunity just so you're prepared when you go into that depth you can click on this show layout and it shows you the exact layout of the delve so we got the spawn room and it goes all the way up to room 12 which is how delves work and then you get to the boss for it tells you the room number tells you the enemies sometimes if you're looking at this it'll tell you it might just start you at room two like if we go to this one for example imperium so if you show this layout as you can see it starts to get room two this is because when you spawn room one has like an area on top room two is just below it so that's why you don't see room one but if you want to see who the physical immunity is just go to show layout and you can just click through each room it tells you the exact position the entry points and the room modifiers so this is the one that has physical immune and it shows you the enemy inside so if you played a physical damage character this is the one that you can avoid and you can just click on any of them to see what they have but that is not all this website has to offer. You can search for specific depths, biomes, and bosses. So let's just say you wanted Blueberry, for example. I don't know, just some random boss. Blueberry. Th this is going to be all the depths that have Blueberry. So it's really cool. You can search this for Ifera, Vengeful Pinata, whatever happens to be in the current rotation. And if you don't know when the current rotation is, just look on the upper right tells you when it resets and this website does get updated so feel free to check this out have it saved if you need it but just in case this wasn't enough information for you you can click on this over here for the history so if you click on it it would show you the previous ones but this th this is the current week so it just started and in case you wanted more information about delves and like the enemies and stuff you can click on statistics and it tells you how often these things have appeared so most common regular bosses you can see the stats here enemy statistics show the rarest so a hairball hopper i believe this is from castle catastra i could be wrong on that but let's just say i didn't know where it was from there's a search option just click search and it takes you right there this is hairball hopper this is the memento and you can go ahead and click on it in case you wanted to get more information so this cat school this is the castle catastrophe one and it's not confirmed but you there's a craftable thing in the box 09 tails which is in castle catastrophe so there's a thing you can craft with it mastery item so pretty cool stuff and that search option is for anything in here so if you don't know what something is just click the search it'll take you to the trove wiki and on top of that let's pretend that you wanted more information not about delves but about trove you go to the top click on home and this will tell you the exact daily bonus the weekly events and the schedule and it tells you the current utc times so this is like the global thing it tells you when it resets and shout outs to mr vash and nepo so this is a calculator for a bunch of different things so as you can see on the side over here it's pretty easy to use if you use it on mobile the ui might be a little bit different but just just don't use it on mobile i guess you could but pretty sure it still works either way you can calculate anything that is on the side over here so let's take this dragon coin calculator for example so let's just calculate our desired dragon coins so let's just say i wanted i don't know like 150 dragon coins and i'm not going to include the tomes or any of the bonuses let's just see how many hours it'll take and as you can see it is going to be 21 hours and this is going to be an approximation because if you open those caches we don't really know how much exactly you're going to get from those which is why cache is estimated so like give or take 21 hours so like just about and then if we're to include i don't know just do patron for example it goes down a little bit so as you can see pretty cool calculator i really like it and you can do that for other stuff and then if we go over here to special thanks these are all the people that have helped with the website so shout outs to all of you guys that have made it or made this possible and promotion stuff like that so pretty cool calculator next up we got a spreadsheet that summer made so shout outs to summer and then we also have some special thanks to these players that i don't think any of them play but 
they have helped out but as you can see there is a link to pretty much everything in the game like everything you need is pretty much in this spreadsheet and it still gets updated to this day so shout out to summer for that one if we go to the chaos chest weekly these are the chaos chest items and it goes pretty far back like really far back 2015 so this is pretty insane there's a there's a ton of stuff there's even details showing the, the weekly deal that was happening the events if there was any events and then if we go over here there's some power rank related stuff crystal gear stats as well as it shows these stats for mystic gear so these are going to be the crystal levels at the top and then this is mystic we just have one mystic so if you level it up all the way these are the resources that it needs and then this is if you were to loot collect it which hopefully you don't loot collect a mystic here which maybe in the future maybe that'll be a common thing but as of right now we cannot do that these are going to be all of these stats available so there's that and then on the bottom we got the rings over here so there's a ton of stuff in here if you want to check it out and then you can just scroll along like there, there's a ton of things ton of information so feel free to check out the spreadsheet if you guys want access to all of this information next up we got a road to trove 500 mastery and this is including geode i'm pretty sure 100 geode levels i believe so at least i could be wrong on the geode but either way i think this one was made by lunar if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty certain it was lunar if i got that wrong i do apologize but shout out to whoever made it but i'm almost certain it was lunar but either way if you guys want to make a copy of this go ahead just do file and then make a copy so it goes into your own thing you can have like your own checklist if you want to check things off as you get things but there are classes professions dragons badges you don't have to follow this exact route but this will help you get to 500 trove mastery if you happen to get other mastery items unrelated to this then you know, that works too you can use that to get your 500 trove mastery but the reason why we say 500 trove mastery is because that's when you get the damage the health and the extra bit of power rank buff and then everything after 500 you just get one power rank and one magic find and as for geode you get 10 light per level up to level 100 so definitely do this it's really good and i'm not sure if this is like completely up to date maybe it is i'm not 100 percent certain on it but if we look at luxine for example it'll tell you the geode mastery portion and then the trove mastery section so it goes hand in hand like that but yeah pretty good stuff next up we got the mystic gear gem stats combinator this goes hand in hand with another spreadsheet not really a spreadsheet but i guess i'll get into that in just a second but shout outs to the people from alpha legacy for making this and shout outs to sly aka alan so hacker dude nina i believe they're the ones that put it together but you can't really edit this specifically unless you make it as your own copy but i can show you an editable one in just a second if you want to see the max boost combination and this is for a couple of different builds this is the premium fish fillet this is the fishing food and then this is the Repel and Zephyr rune for more damage, aka more light. And these are these stats for Boomeranger, and it has every single class in here. But if we want to go into more detail, there is this website over here. So this one was made by Sly. Pretty sure it was just Sly got help from other people. Nick and some people from Alpha Legacy also helped put it together, but shout out to everybody that was involved. So here we got the daily bonuses. It's currently Wednesday at the time we're recording this. Got the long shade rotations over here. It even tells you what Fluxian is up to. So selling, leaving in a day, arriving in eight days for Corruxian. And then don't worry about this Luxian one. This was old Luxian when it was on rotation every other week. But if we go over here to the left side, we have these star charts. So you can pick and choose which directions you want to go in. And say you didn't want that one, you can just do this. You can only get 40 spheres. So that's why you can do it out of 40. If you don't know what direction you want to go in, you can just click this and pick the stuff that you'd want. So probably light. And those are the only light ones you can go for. And then if you wanted physical damage, you can just see the physical damage directions. So I'd say it's pretty cool. No nothing on this website is time gated. So if you really wanted to, you can build out a route and see what you want to do and then put it in game once you get the resources. And I'm not going to go over everything, but you have gem builds over here. So this is where you can actually switch between different classes. You got the combinations. This was in my build video, how to build every single class. But yeah, you can switch classes. You can customize it however you want to. I guess like... I got hit with the infinite loading screen here. Uh, okay, I guess website is down. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I didn't do anything. Uh, I don't know if I can show any of this. Oh well, that's whatever. Either way, you guys get the point. You can feel free to check out that website. There's also an application for it, so you can do the same stuff if the if the website's down, for example. And you can even log into your Trovasaurus account. Those are all the spreadsheets that I currently have. There's some in Alpha Legacy if you want to join their Discord. I know that there's stuff related to fishes and stuff, but... Either way, I'm going to link a bunch of stuff in the description down below. So if there's one that interests you, you can feel free to check it out down there. But on that note, thank you all so much for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. And I'll talk to you guys later.